This video is on how to format a works cited page in MLA format in Microsoft Word. Now I'm using the most recent version of Microsoft Word. I believe this is a 2019 version of Word and I'm on a PC. So just keep in mind that it might look a little different or format a little differently based on your version of Word and your device. So the first thing I wanna start off with is explaining that these citations that I have on this page are citations that I have copied and pasted from different sources. Several of these are from our databases. You'll see here they say EBSCOhost. Some of them I copied and pasted straight from the database. Others I copied and pasted from an email that I sent to myself. And this one here is from ProQuest, same thing, one from the database itself, one from an email that I received. I also have citations from Gale databases, one that was copied from the database and one from an email, although these are two different databases. And here at the bottom, I have an ebook, which I retrieved from EBSCOhost, from our EBSCOhost ebook collection. And I have two additional citations, which I obtained from our library catalog. I'd like you to notice that depending on where you copy your citations from, they will look different on your Word document. So a couple of these you'll see have gray backgrounds. These I directly copied from the EBSCO databases. Also, you'll notice that some of these have different font types from each other. You'll also see that some included a hyperlink to the URLs. And you'll also notice that the font type size for each of these is different. What we know for our MLA Works Cited page is that we need to have it be in Times New Roman, 12 point font, double spaced, in alphabetical order, and with hanging indents. So from here, I'm going to go up to view. And I'm going to select ruler. I want to activate ruler because another thing that I need to make sure is that my margins are one inch margins all around. So that's the first thing I'm going to begin with. I'm going to go up to layout and click on layout. And then I'm gonna go over to margins to make sure that my margins are one inch all around. And this is normal. So I'm gonna select that one just to make sure that that is my default for my page. So now that I know my margins are one inch margins, I now can begin formatting my page based on my MLA requirements. Now you'll notice that there are sometimes spaces between entries. This one technically does not have a space between the two. It looks like it does, but because of the pasted citation, there seems to be just a cushion there, but that's not an actual space. This is also not an actual space. This is a space. So the reason I can tell this is a space is because my cursor is able to sit there and flash. So this is an actual space between my citations. So I'm going to delete that space. And then I'm going to check down here. This There's no extra space there. And there's no extra space here. So these now have no spacing. You wanna make sure that you don't have spacing because you're going to add your own spacing once we clear a lot of this formatting. So the best thing to do to get rid of these gray background colors it, and also to potentially clear this link is clear formatting. It's this button that exists up here. It's an A with a little eraser looking icon. 
and when you hover over it, it says clear all formatting. And it tells you that when you click on this, it will remove all formatting from the selection, leaving only the normal unformatted text. So what that means is that anything that is currently formatted will get wiped clean to plain text. So keep in mind that anything that is currently in italics will no longer be in italics once I click this button. So you want to make sure that you know what elements of your citation need to have italics because you will need to put those italics back after you clear the formatting. So I'm going to go ahead and select all and click this clear formatting button. And what that does is it wipes all formatting. It did not eliminate my link, but I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. And I am still without any spaces. These are just cushions between my citations. Now that I've cleared my formatting, you'll notice that that gray background color on those two citations is no longer there. And you'll also notice that all of the words that were once in italics are no longer in italics. So again, I'll have to go back and insert those italics. The first thing I want to do is get rid of this hyperlink. In MLA for works cited pages, you should not have anything underlined. There should be no live hyperlinks. So what you can do hovering over the hyperlink is right click and you'll see an option here for remove hyperlink. Select that and it will remove the hyperlink. So I, I now have just simple plain text. So now I want to focus on my font, my font type, size, and my spacing. So you'll notice I'm clicked somewhere on the document that up here it says that my text is normal. This is a default in Word. The other default in Word is Calibri font at 11 points. So we want to change those three items. I again am going to select all of my text by holding down the control button and clicking on the letter A or you can also just with your mouse select all of your text that way. And the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and I don't want normal. I want no spacing. And so you'll notice that all of that cushion that I previously had between my citations is gone. All additional spacing that was added by default, either by pasting or by Word itself, has been removed. And this is what you want to work with. You want to work with text that is exactly one line apart from each other. Now that I've fixed my spacing, I again am going to select all of my text and I'm going to change my font to Times New Roman. So I'm just going to scroll down until I find it. And I'm going to change the size to 12 point. OK. Now I notice here that I have a couple of extra spaces. And I'm also noticing that these last two lines aren't quite aligned with my other text. So I probably have some extra spaces there that I need to get rid of. So I'm going to start at the bottom with my cursor. Wherever it flashes, remember, there is a space. So I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move my cursor over. And sure enough, it looks like there are two extra spaces there. I'm going to hit the backspace to delete those. And I'm going to come to the line above that. There are also two additional spaces that I don't need there, which I'm going to hit the backspace button to delete. So now I'm ready to 
put my citations in alphabetical order.